The 3D boxing here with the victorious Ramon Cardenas. That was dynamite. There was no other word to describe that. What, describe the performance and describe the left hook, the first knockdown. What, what, walk uh, me through that. I knew the, I knew the guy's defense was like wishy-washy. I knew that when I threw that first right hand, his hands went down. And uh, that's when I, when I threw that first right hand, I saw his hands go down. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it again. And I, and I caught him with a hook. So I, I kind of, you know, like I said, I figured that that was gonna happen. The first knockdown, he went down hard. Were you surprised he got right up? Because I thought it was over. Like when you landed, I thought the fight was over. Yeah. Were you surprised he got right up on uh, the first knockdown? No, because- He went down hard. I didn't, honestly, it was weird. I didn't see him. But I knew that, you know, we're fighting for a big title. Yeah. So where's the belt, by the way? Who's got the belt? My manager has it. Okay. Uh, we're fighting for a big title, so I knew that that uh, it was gonna be where his heart was gonna come in play, and I knew that he was gonna, you know, I knew he was gonna to come out and and, and uh, you know, like I said, we're fighting for a title, man. He was gonna yeah. wanna lose the title, so he fought hard. Even after the knock, he came right back at you. When he yeah. came back at you, did you know? Okay, I'm gonna get him out now. Yeah. Did you know it was it was it was gonna be over soon? I knew that I was stronger than the guy. I was saying my coach, I, I knew that I, I was stronger. I knew that I, I, I hit harder than him. I, I could feel his punches with the gloves and stuff, and I, I didn't feel nothing. So I knew, like I said, I knew it was just a matter of time uh, that I was going to uh, knock him out. It is a big title here on Mexican Independence Day weekend in your home city. Describe what that what's that like. What, what's this experience like? Uh, shit, man. I mean, I, I feel like my name had been going, going under the radar for such a quiet time in my career. And this uh, opened up, you know, opened up those eyes and, and put put uh, some attention on, on my name. And finally, uh, San Antonio, like I said, man, a star was going to be born today. And I feel like I, I proved that. I, wanna, I, I told the world to bet on you. You were a pretty big betting underdog. Uh, about two and a half to one. I told the world to bet on you. Thank you for making me look smart. Yeah, hey, man, you, you know boxing, brother. I counted about three world champions out there, all from San Antonio. I saw Kelton Johnson. All came to see you. What's that like to give this type of performance score, that type of knockout in front of that crowd with all the stars in the crowd? Man, I mean, it feels good. It feels good. Uh, it feels, uh, uh, like I told you, man, ultimately it's, it's uh, one of those things where I open up a lot of eyes. You know, people are going to know who I am now. Uh, people are going to, in the boxing world, going to know who I am. And that's what I wanted, man. I wanted the boxing world to know who Ramon Cardenas is. And uh, this was my time. You know, like my manager told me, my father told me, everybody told me. You told me. Muchas gracias, hermano. I told you. He, you know, he told me that this was my time to, to put my name out there, man. And uh, I believe I did that uh, versus a, a, an undefeated opponent. That everybody, everybody wants to, to make their way up to world titles and stuff, fighting guys who, who they know they're gonna just run over. And uh, when this name popped up, I was like, hell yeah. You know, the guy's number seven in the WBA, uh, undefeated guy, 15 and 0, 11 KO. And I was like, okay, this is my time. Okay, let's do it. And so. I didn't say no. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't question uh, uh, the opponent. I just said, "Fuck it, let's do it." If it's San Antonio, let's do it. I wanted to ask you about that, right? Because he was the big betting favorite. He didn't have any names on his resume. You have the better win with Bonquez, and you have better wins than he does. Um, on top of all that, when we talked about all the other fighters in San Antonio getting these big deals, these big promotional deals, do you feel disrespected? And does this performance make you feel vindicated? You know, in, in a way, because. Uh, I mean, disrespected, not, you know, I, I don't want to use that term because I don't think it's disrespected. I think it's just more like... Uh, overlooked? Overlooked. Uh, because the guys who, who, who are doing what I want to do, they're my friends. I grew up with them. Sure. They, they, and they all them. deserve it, too. And yeah. they all deserve it, man. And uh, uh, like I, I said in an interview, a couple, with, I believe last year, um, everyone has their time. And I don't want to take somebody else's shine to put it on myself. I don't want to be that guy that, that talks smack about somebody else just to get over them. I wanted to prove who I am. And um, I believe I did that today, man. I, I told my manager um, that I was going to show him I'm that mofo. You are that dude, right? 122 or 118, what, what division do you feel whichever, better at? Whichever. 122 has got a monster and two guys hold all the belts. Is that something you want to pursue or is it the 18? Cause it's, like, you know, like I said, man, uh, um, I want any of the world champions, uh, if I, the winner of Inoue and uh, Tapales, if, if, if Inoue becomes undisputed, then I want to fight Inoue. If uh, Tapales becomes undisputed, I want to fight Tapales. Uh, I'm not here to pick and well, choose. Well, not win that fight, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. you know, yeah. I'm not here to pick and choose who I want to fight. I want to fight whoever, it don't matter. I just want any of the world titles I know. That, that I can win a world title this year. And my team knows that. And uh, 
I'm just ready, man. I don't care who it is. After a statement like that, I think, you know, the boxing world knows who you are. I think the boxing world knows that you're ready for a world title shot. Yes, it's been a fun ride getting a cup of your mom. I've come to you from, from the bottom to the yes, top. Sir. Yeah, literally. Congratulations. Thank uh, you so looking much. forward to see what you have next. Tell me where they can find you on social media. Uh, Dinamita Cardenas on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, uh, Dinamita Cardenas. No one deserves this more than you. God bless you. Thank you so much.